Three employees past and present might get an alarming letter in the mail. That's because, according to a newly filed lawsuit, a breach at a data management company Dollar Tree uses leaked the personal information of almost 2 million people. The suspicious activity was allegedly discovered in August, but those letters are just starting to come in. Emily Harrison breaks down what information could be at risk. Former Dollar Tree employee Kenneth Stanley is suing Dollar Tree for millions of dollars after he received this letter in the mail. In it, executives from the data management company Zeroed In Technologies inform Stanley his personal information is compromised. His lawsuit says hackers got access to confidential information like names, dates of birth, and social security numbers. Zeroed In allegedly discovered the suspicious activity back in early August and notified Dollar Dollar Tree at the end of that month. Zeroed In stores employee information for companies like Dollar Tree. And according to the lawsuit, almost 2 million people at some point had their information exposed. Stanley says he did not receive any word about this until the end of November. Now he is suing Dollar Tree and Zeroed In on behalf of everyone affected for negligence, breach of implied contract, and unjust enrichment. In the lawsuit, Stanley said the amount of spam phone calls and texts skyrocketed after the data breach and that Dollar Tree executives, quote, willfully, recklessly and negligently disregarded the rights of class members. Now, it's unclear how many people are going to be impacted here in Hampton Roads as all Dollar Tree employees are required to submit this information to Dollar Tree as part of their employment. In Chesapeake, I'm Emily Harrison, 13 News Now. We reached out to Dollar Tree about the lawsuit and received a statement saying, quote, zeroed in is a vendor that we and other companies use. They informed us that they identified a security incident and they proceeded and they provided notice of the incident to current and former employees.